Pirate Baby by Mary Hoffman, illustrated by Ross Asquith. The pirate ship, Ramshackle, was sailing lazily between islands when the lookout spotted a strange object floating on the water. Something ahoy! shouted the lookout, whose name was Ben, peering through his telescope. The first mate, Barnacle Barney, steered the Ramshackle towards the object. It's a... it's a... hmm... well, shiver me timbers, said the captain, Jolly Roger. It's a baby! He was quite right and soon all the pirates could hear it. The baby was bawling at the top of its lungs. It was on a little raft, no bigger than a lid of a barrel, woven from twigs and branches, and it was soon going to roll over the edge. The ramshackle reached it just in time and the bosun. Red Bart swarmed down the side of the boat and snatched up the howling red-faced baby. And now they can smell it as well as hear it. Poor little chap, said the ship's cook, Spoons McGill. He's hungry. What can we feed him? asked Captain Jolly Roger. We don't have a cow. Hang on, said Spoons, and went below. He came back with a tin of condensed milk. He made two holes in a lid, poured some milk into a cup, and then added fresh water from a barrel. But the baby did not know how to drink from a cup. It kept howling. Emergency measures, said Captain Jolly Roger. Fetch the doctor. Up came the ship's doctor, Crossbones, with a syringe and filled it with milk. He squirted some into the baby's mouth until it stopped howling and fell asleep in the captain's arms. What are we going to do about the other end? asked Barnacle Barney. Leave it to me, said Crossbones, brandishing a flag and some scissors. The baby's nappy was so stinky they dropped it over the side, but they kept the pin. What a surprise! It was a girl baby! Tis unlucky to have a woman aboard ship, said Barney. Hardly a woman, said Crossbones. I'm not a baby doctor, but I'd say she was about four months old. And as for unlucky, said the captain, how lucky she was that we came along. She was bound for Davy Jones' locker. At the next island they came to, the islanders were so scared to see the pirate ship that they gave them a nanny goat to make milk for the baby. We should have asked for gold and jewels, grumbled Red Bart as they sailed away. The baby can't eat those, said Spoons. The baby became very fond of the goat and soon said, na 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 na, when she was hungry. So they called the goat Nana and the baby Isla because they found her near an island. There was a ship's cat called Plunderpuss and a noisy parrot called Mixquack. Isla loved them, and she loved all the pirates who looked after her, but she loved the captain, Jolly Roger, best of all. Spoons the cook got out his sewing machine and made her a stack of nappies, which they took turns to wash in a bucket. He made her some clothes out of old pirate vests. And Red Bart the bosun made her a toy squid out of an old pair of gloves. It was her best thing, after the goat and the captain. Months went by and Isla learned to crawl on the deck. Barney, who had forgotten about females being unlucky on a boat, made a barrier out of old fishing nets so that she wouldn't fall overboard. We aren't doing much pirating, said Red Bart one day. Twouldn't be a good example to Isla, said the captain. Bah, said Barney. We're just getting soft. All right, the very next ship we see, said the captain, will board them and plunder them. But the next ship they saw was full of woman pirates. Do you think we ought to ask them to take Isla? asked Crossbones, clutching the baby to him. Certainly not, said the captain. Avast ye, Barney, and full speed ahead. Soon the woman pirates were out of sight and the crew reached the ramshackle relaxed. Then... Swoosh! Out of the deep came a sea monster!
it towered over the ship. Quid, cooed Isla, as all the pirates tried to hide. The ramshackle's a goner, whispered Red Bart. It'll sink us for sure. Someone rescue the baby. But the monster looked at the baby and stretched out a long tentacle full of suckers. Oh, no, you don't, said Jolly Roger. You can't have our baby. But little Isla held out her toy squid to the monster. And the monster took it and carried it off to the deep to be his very own. He just wanted something to play with. Isla saved the ramshackle from the sea monster, cheered the crew. She is a true pirate baby. And so she was. Isla lived happily with the pirates until she grew up to be a famous pirate herself. But that's another story. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please subscribe for more kids' story time.